Choose a place to start in your house. Mark your starting position with an X and an arrow pointing in a direction perpendicular to a wall. This will allow for fast calibration. You must start in this same spot every time you play. Stand near the starting position facing the same direction, and reset your view and make sure your floor is calibrated. You can do this by enabling and then disabling the guardian system. Once inside the app, check that the menu appears in the correct direction and reset your view one more time. Do not reset your view while inside the app after you have done so in the beginning. Select a place base size. Before you place any objects, point your laser, and grab the red hand to move the point of reference marker directly on the X, make sure it is facing the correct direction. You can grab the menu to move it around your play area. The menu is a parent of all tools on the left. The tools will move with the menu. Use your left hand to touch the buttons to spawn, and place walls over your own walls or objects. You can only spawn one type of object at a time. Look out for the white spheres, as they are the points that the walls spawn. If you decide to spawn a wall or object, make sure that the spheres do not overlap any spawned object or wall. Or the existing object will turn into the object you are spawning. Looking at the floor can help you align the walls better. Use the trash can to delete objects. If you are placing in a building with more than two or more levels, you must manually place all of the floor pieces to cover your play space. You will not need to calibrate the floor if you placed floor objects. Use ramp placement for when you are using stairs. You can control the incline and rotation using the tools. Ramps will not rotate using the joystick. You can disable the modifiers when you are moving the menu through your house to avoid the tools colliding with any of your walls placed. The wheel changes the texture of the placed objects, this is purely cosmetic and has no effect on occlusion. When placing all of your walls, make sure your play space is completely enclosed. The hand is used to move all of the walls and objects placed in your scene. You must calibrate your floor every time you play the game if you did not place the floors. Once you are happy with all of the walls and objects placed exit the game at this menu. Do not continue until you have restarted the app, or your changes will not be saved. Exit now. Enter the app again, and your wall will be saved where you left off. Use the hand tool to recalibrate all the objects if they are out of alignment. Hit continue to access the game object spawn menu. The types of game objects that you will spawn are.
Relic spawners, which spawns the relics you collect. Ghost spawner, which spawns only one kind of ghost. The more you place the less chance of a more deadly ghost to appear that does spawns randomly anywhere. Make sure it is placed above the floor. The more relics and ghosts you spawn the more likely you will succeed, you must place them far apart from each other. Now you are ready to start the app. Setup between game rounds should take a couple seconds. Just make sure you use the hand to lift the walls have shifted. Now your setup should be fast and easy. Future improvements will be implemented in future updates.